What's up guys, Justin here from TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another Unreal Engine Materials tutorial for you. So last week we talked about how to create our first material and also how to apply materials in Unreal Engine. This week I want to talk about how to create a material that actually has a texture image associated with it. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So we could get very in-depth with this. Um, there's a lot of different things that you can do with materials in Unreal Engine. In this video, I want to talk specifically about adding custom texture images to your actors. So th the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go back into our starter content. And if you remember, if you don't have the starter content, you can just go to Add New. And uh, you could go to Add Feature or Content Pack, go to Content Packs and select the option for starter content. You just want to make sure that's all been brought in. Then we're going to go down to the props folder. The props folder contains basically this material preview object that allows you to basically apply materials to it and you can preview what those are going to look like. So we did this all last week, but you can drag that in and then apply different materials to it. Well, in this week, I want to talk about how to create a material um, based on a custom image that you bring in. So based on a texture image, rather than one of the built-in materials. So specifically in this case, I've created a folder called example materials and maybe putting it in the starter content isn't the best way to stay organized. For this example, it's gonna be okay. And so if you remember last week, what we did is we right clicked in here and we went down and we added a new material. So um, and in that case, I can't remember what we called it. In this case, we're gonna call it something like shiny tile. So we're just going to import a tile material from an external source. So there's a lot of different places you can download textures. So in this case, I've, down, I've downloaded this one from polygon.com. So in this case, I've downloaded this one from polygon.com, but there's a lot of different places you can go to get these. Um, this is from the free section. It's just a rectangular mirror tile texture. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna import that. So to start off, when we import that, well, first of all, let's apply this to our preview object. So to our actor. So you can see how this is that new material that I created. If you look at it, basically it comes in as kind of this placeholder material. So it just looks like the checkerboard. And if we were to edit that, so if we were to go over to the materials section in our details and double click, that's gonna pop up your material editor. You're gonna notice that right now there's nothing in here for any of the base color or the metallic or the specular or any of the things that we talked about before. It's basically a blank slate. And so what we want to do in this case is we actually want to apply an image to this in order to create a material. So the way that we're going to have to do that is we're going to start off and we're just going to add an image into our example materials folder. Sometimes you may want to create another folder for this, but in this case, I think it'll be okay. And in this case, I'm just going to drag in the texture material that I have for this tile. So in this case, this is just the uh, color map image, and I'm just going to click and drag this over. And so when I click and drag this over, this brings this in as a texture. So it recognizes it as an image and it recognizes it as a texture. And so now there's a couple different things we could do with this. You could just drag this directly on to your, to your actor. And you can see how this creates a material when you do that. I'm going to go ahead and do an undo and I'm going to delete that back out. In this case, I don't necessarily want to do that. Um, just because I want to demonstrate the way that the material editor works. Instead, what we're going to do is we're just going to double click to open up our material editor and we're going to bring that material in. And so I found the easiest way to do this is to just drag this in. So when you drag this in, this is going to get brought in and it's going to be called a texture sample. And there's multiple multiple different things in here that we can use. So you have the red and blue and green and blue channel in here. And uh, those are basically the colors that make this up. There's also an alpha channel, which we may end up using a little bit later to do some, uh, some different mapping and that sort of thing. But in this case, all we want to focus on is we want to focus on this option right here, which is the texture sample. And so that's basically the output of the texture. Well, what we want to do is we want to click and drag this and we want to create a new node running from here over to your base color. You're going to notice when you do that, all of a sudden your preview is going to show this image 
as your material. So now your material is going to look like this. Before we go any further, let's go back into Unreal Engine for a second and look. Even though we've applied this and adjusted the way this material looks, you can see how that hasn't updated inside Unreal Engine. And so in order for that to update, whenever you make a change, you have to go up in your material editor and you have to click the button for apply. So if I was to move this kind of off to the side and then click apply, you're going to notice that as soon as I do that, this is going to come in here and it's going to apply that material to your um, to your actor. So now you can see how this has been updated in the engine based on the changes that we made. And so this is a really easy way to start creating materials, but what we want to start doing is we want to start adding some more things to make this look a little bit more realistic. So you can see how we talked a little bit about the metallic and the roughness last week. Well, in this case, I want to go ahead and I want to apply something to these so that it affects the way this looks. If you remember the metallic was how metal-like everything looks, the roughness is going to affect kind of the way that things reflect off of here. And if you remember from our video last week, we adjusted those using a constant. And so you could either come in here and right click and start typing in constant, or you could also just look over here in your palette for the constant one. So all the constant one does is that allows you to apply a value to something. So in this case, you can see how this, ha this has a value of zero. And so if we plug this node into the metallic node, for example, if we click and drag that over here, the value that's applied in this constant is going to affect this material. And so if you remember, metals are really zero or one. So if I was to type a one in here, you can see how that would make this tile look like a metal. So in this case, tile is not a metal, so we probably just want to set this to zero. But then we're also going to come in here and adjust our roughness. And so we're just going to drag another constant in here, and we're just going to apply the node to the roughness. When you do that, notice what this does. All of a sudden, this tile material is much more reflective because this is set to zero. And if you mouse over this, you can see how this tells you that roughness of zero is a mirror reflection, and rough is completely matte. So if we were to come in here and apply this to one, then you wouldn't get any real reflections off of this. So you can adjust this to whatever you want. You could bring it into like 0.38 or really whatever you want. But you can see how the sun kind of comes off this a little bit, a little bit better. You get a better reflection in here. And then if you really wanted this to look like a glass tile or something, you could put in like a 0.1. You probably don't want to go all the way to zero, but you could. So now we've applied a metallic and a roughness. And so if we click the apply button, watch the reflection of the sun up off the top. You can see how it's much more defined. You're also getting some reflection of the plane that this is sitting on. So you can adjust the way that that image is reflecting by doing that. And so that gives you kind of a good starting point for creating materials. One other thing I want to do really quick is I want to bring in a normal map. And if you remember a normal map, and you may not know this, a normal map is basically a map that you can bring in that basically makes your surface look more bumpy. So it basically tells your engine how light should be affected by this. And so what we want to do is this is an image that comes when you download things from Polygon. A lot of sites have that and uh, we want to go ahead and apply this. So to start off what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to drag this in into our materials section. So when I drag that in you can see how that shows up and if you notice down here, Unreal Engine detected that that's a normal map and it imported it as a normal map, which is what we want. So we're gonna go ahead and click OK. So when we click OK, now we can do what we did before where we drag this over into our Unreal Engine materials. And so what we wanna do in this case is we wanna link the texture sample to the normal map. So you can see how this is set up to take the input of a normal map. So it's really easy to set up. I can click and drag, hook that in, and there we go. And so if you'll notice, the light is being affected a little bit more. The reflections are based on this normal map. And so what I want you to do is I want you to pay attention to this point right here. Because if I was to go in and Alt-click on this node and remove the node, you'll notice that the sunlight is actually reflecting across this grout on your tile, which isn't realistic, because what grout would do is, or um, grout is not reflective. So this wouldn't be reflecting light across this, but when you bring in your normal map and you plug it into the normal, you can see how you're not getting the reflection across this anymore because it's basically reading that that shouldn't be reflected by that. You can see how as I drag that ac across, you're not getting that reflection. And so now if I was to go in, I was to click apply, 
and this updates and you kind of zoom in on it, you can see how you're getting a more realistic texture where that light isn't coming in nearly as much off of the grout lines where it wouldn't. So it's just much more real. So I'm running out of time on this one. So that's kind of an overview of how you can apply your own texture materials um, within Unreal Engine. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Is this uh, something that was helpful to you? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new content every week. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.